What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing my favorite Paradox Pokemon, Iron Thorns. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But yeah, Iron Thorns is definitely my favorite Paradox Pokemon, considering Titar is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. When it came out with a futuristic form, I absolutely loved it, considering it is rock and electric. Super cool typing, but this Pokemon is not the best out of Paradox Pokemon. But again, we're here to showcase every single Paradox Pokemon. So today, like I already mentioned, Iron Thorns is on the table. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Moxie Boosted. Thank you so much for making this team, making it a rental code, and allowing everybody to use it. Cannot wait to showcase it off and use it to its fullest potential. But top left hand corner, let's get started here with today's team preview, Amoongus. Nice little support mod for the team with Generator as its ability alongside the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Protect, Rage Powder, Sport, and Clear Smog to take away stat changes, especially when we go up against Don Dozo teams. Arcanine is going to be our second Pokemon with Intimidate and the Covert Cloak as its item. It's got Protect, Heat Wave, will o wisp and Snarl. Cannot go wrong with Arcanine. Solid Pokemon for any team. Sylveon is going to be our third Pokemon, and I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of Sylveon in Series 2, considering a lot of the Paradox Pokemon are weak to Fairy, so Sylveon is going to be a great counter to those Pokemon. Sylveon's got Pixelate, alongside with the Throat Spray, Hyper Voice, Terra Blast, Protect, and Yawn for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon, it's going to be the boy. It is going to be Iron Thorns over here, the futuristic Tyranitar. Quirk Drive as its ability, the Loaded Dice as its item, and then it's rocking Sword Stance, Thunder Punch, Rock Blast, and Pin Missile. So you got Rock Blast for Stab, you got Pin Missile for Coverage, but both of them are going to be boosted by the Loaded Dice to make it hit a ton of times. Mimikyu is going to be our fifth Pokemon. Mimikyu is going to be good for physical attacking and for countering Trick Room teams. It has Disguise and Mental Herb, Rock and Play Rough, will o -Wisp, Trick Room, and Curse. Curse Mimikyu? Never used one before, but hopefully it works out good for us. Final Pokemon is going to be our second Paradox Pokemon, and it's going to be Roaring Moon over here. I feel like Roaring Moon is going to be top tier in the series too. Solid Pokemon, great attacking stats, great special attacking stats if you want to be special attacking, and a really great speed stat as well. This one has Protosynthesis as its ability and the boosted energy as its item. It's got Throat Chop, Acrobatics, Protect, and Tailwind for speed control. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Iron Thorns team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Don Dozo team with two Paradox Pokemon, the Rock and Ancient Tusk, and Fluttermane. Two very, very strong Paradox Pokemon. Then their final two Pokemon are going to be Indeedee and Torkoal. So they can pop Trick Room with Indeedee or Tur Torkoal if they want to. And I feel like Iron Thorns is going to be a phenomenal lead for us. So you know what? I'm going to lead Iron Thorns, but I would definitely want to check out if this thing's stats. It's rather slow, but its physical attack stat is super high. So I'm really liking that Pokemon. So I'm going to go Iron Thorns here as a nice, lovely lead. I definitely want to bring Amoongus in somewhere here, considering Amoongus is going to just be great all around, especially for sport and secondary. It can counter up onto that Dondo. So I want to go Amoongus somewhere in here, but definitely not as lead. So I'm going to go Titar. Do I go Roaring Moon as a lead? Roaring Moon would not be bad. I mean, what's your Terra type, Roaring Moon? You Steel? You are Flying. Straight Flying Terra type, but she's not bad. I don't mind that. Uh, Huh. The jeans player sylveon's not bad here either i kind of like sylveon maybe popping third spray turn one yeah and then going amoongus and roaring moon really like that especially if they do want to pop trick room as well we can have amoongus for spores plenty of different options here but yeah let's lock it in let's lock it down let's grab ourselves our first win with this iron thorn teams but i cannot wait to showcase this pokemon considering i haven't used it yet at all at all online so gonna be a lot of fun gonna be a lot of fun i caught one in my in my game but uh yeah did not did not get to use it yet did not get to use it Let's see who our opponent ends up leading. If I had to guess, it's got to be like Indeedee and something, right? Indeedee and Fluttermane. Okay. Oh, yo, Shiny Fluttermane? Tough. Looking real tough. But from here, um, uh, do I just... I could Sword Dance. I could definitely potentially Sword Dance. I could Sword Dance. Or I can go straight into a Pin Missile. Pin Missile could be nice, especially if they go for Follow Me. I'm thinking of just straight up Sword Dance in here. And then rolling out from there. Right, Sword Dance and just Hyper Voice. Is that my play? Is that the jeans play? Is that the jeans play? I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Water main protects a good play call from us to just pop a nice little sword stance. Get after it that way. Now we have sword stance set up. Um, hmm, what do I want to do from here? I might just want to protect my iron thorns next turn. Let's see how this one plays out. Cause this thing's just gonna psychic down my Sylveon slot, which isn't that big of a deal. 
It really isn't. Hyper Voice is going to fly here. Do no damage to Fluttermane, but I might just attack Fluttermane next turn. I might attack Fluttermane, considering I'm doing a nice chunk of damage to Ndidi, and I get the plus special attack boost for the next turn. That's actually really good for us. So, do I... What do I do? Do I pin Missile down Ndidi? Or do I Rock Blast the Fluttermane? I feel like Rock Blasting the Fluttermane is probably the play. It's Stab, and it will kill Ndidi if Follow Me does come through here. So, I might just protect this turn, too. I might just protect this turn. But Hyper Voice will actually hit the uh, the Fluttermane. It just says no effect because it's normal right now, but once it turns into Fairy, it's Pixelate. Moonblast's gonna fire. He's gonna go after Indeedee. That is totally fine, yo. Iron Thorn's gonna kill this battle. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, yo. Game game set match? Game set match? Is this is it over? Is Iron Thorn just gonna sweep this battle? Ripping into our opponent. Ripping into our opponent. I would love to get some more Speakator here, but he is going to take out Sylveon. Which isn't that big of a deal, considering I get out Roar and Moon now, and I set up a Tailwind. Or I could just go with Moongus. I could go with Moongus here if I want to. I'm really leaning towards. But I feel like I have to save a Moongus, correct? I feel like a Moongus is just a... It's just a save. I feel like we just need to save a Moongus, just in case Don Dozo comes out. Speak, speaking of the devil, there's Don Dozo. So Don Dozo does come out here. Um, and what's my play from here? I mean, I have Thunder Punch. I have Thunder Punch. I could tear it in the grass. That thing probably has EQ, so I'm going to Trasalize my... I'm going to Trasalize you, and I'm just going to drop a Thunder Punch straight to the mid of this thing. Right into Don Dozo, and then... Do I set up a Tailwind? I could set up a Tailwind, which I'm going to do. I'll set up a Tailwind for the rest of the squad. So Tailwind's going to come out in about... If he swaps it in DD into... Tasugiri, or as you guys like me to call him, just Gummy. He switches into the Gummy. That's fine. My my uh my move's still gonna hit him, but I am Terrasalizing. Terrasalize is going to work really well for here, especially up against Don Thozo. Because if he's going for a water move onto me, it's not very effective. If he goes for a ground move, it's not very effective. Really good swap from us. So Iron Thorns, I'm liking this Terror type on it. So we Terror here. Follow me. He's gonna come out here. That's totally fine. Uh, Thunder Punch should be able to KO. And I think we're just sitting fine here, right? There's Tailwind. Oh, and I'm Grass. Oh, no. Grass only. Only counters Rage Powder. But Thunder Punch is going to fly. It's going to take out Ndidi. Yeah, Ndidi's gone. So now we have some speed up on us. Don Dozo, I think, would go for an EQ, right? A fit this thing's going for a one-hit KO move. Yo! Yo! <laughs> this thing's going for the Fisher. Tatsugiri's going to pop out here. And now that the Tatsu popped out here, I'm thinking I was just swapping... I might just protect my Iron Thorns here. Do I protect them? I don't want to protect the swap. I might just attack straight up. I could Rock Blast. I could definitely Rock Blast. But what would do more damage? Rock Blast can hit hard. But Thunder Punch? Thunder Punch type nice. You know what? I'm going to go for the Thunder Punch. Screw it. I'm going for damage. We have the Tailwind set up. We should be able to outspeed. And then... Hmm. Hmm. Chill for a throw chop. A throw chop would be our best bet. But I do have the Moongus in the back end, which is really good. He's gonna end up Terrasalizing. Probably, I see a lot of them going straight in the Dragon Pipe. We'll see. It's gonna be Grass. Okay, Pin Missile's gonna do work up against that next turn. So we'll try to hit that thing with a Pin Missile next turn. And go from there. The throw chop's gonna fly here. Doing like nothing. I should've probably hard swap here. Thunder Punch's gonna fly. Do like nothing. And what are you going for here? Go for an order up. I don't mind if you take him out. I really don't. I survive. That thing's attack's gonna get boosted. Definitely very scary. Definitely very, very scary. I'm still just gonna pin missile that thing down. Screw it. Pin missile coming out here. Acrobats. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, those are protect. So he wants to waste out the tailwind turns. Oh, that's fine, I guess. We just want to waste out Tailwind. I have the Moongus in the back end, which is going to be really good for us. Pin Missile coming out here. It's getting blocked. I don't think he goes after Iron Thorns. That's, that's, the, that's my thing. I do not think he goes after my Iron Thorns. I think I protect the Iron Thorns here, too. I cannot afford to lose the Iron Thorns. I really cannot. Actually, no. I don't see him going after my... I do not see him going after my Iron Thorns. I really do not. I see him going straight after this, uh, Marine Moon here. Pin Missile flying. Pin Missile might be able to KO. 
No, it's not. That thing's bulky, but still. We're chipping up some damage. We have loaded dice. We're getting off a nice chunk of damage. We can hit two more times, which could be nice. We'll hit again. Oh, yeah. Five times. That's a nice chunk of damage. Real good chunk of damage. It's probably going to take out the Roaring Moon. Yeah, so he takes out the Roaring Moon. And from here, I feel like it's just a simple protect onto the, the Iron Thorns. Clear Smog. And then go from there, right? And that's pretty much GG. And that's pretty much GG, right? So I'm trying to think of, does this thing have any way of beating me if I do that? I don't think you can counter my Moongus. I really do not. I have a Rocky Helmet. I'm 221 HP. I'm super bulky. Move set probably consists of Earthquake, Order Up, and like Wave Crash, which I can eat up all of them. And I do not have Protect. That hurts that I don't have Protect. That really hurts. I might just Rage Power this then. I think I have to. I think I have to Rage Power then. My pin missile should be able to KO. Because the thing is, if I don't, if I don't rage powder here, if I do not rage powder here, order up can KO me. And I feel like pin missile did more than that, right? Yeah, I should be good. So, you know, what? I'm just gonna go for the rage powder here. Instead of clear smog. It's definitely my play. It's definitely my play. 100%. So I want to clear smog at like all match, but now we're sitting in the situation where we shouldn't. And cool. Iron Thorns dodged that. Oh, he's grass. Yo, Rage Powder wouldn't even affect him. That hurts his soul. Thank, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The so, Pin Missile should be able to pick up the KO here. Love an Iron Thorns. Love an Iron Thorns. See, that always gets me. The grass and Rage Powder. But more so when somebody terrestrializes it into a grass type. I totally forget about it. But still, that worked out perfectly. That worked out perfectly. We'll take that all day. Tassel Gear is going to come out here. The little gummy fish. And we're going to say GG's. My boy Iron Thorns getting work done. Getting work done. I can Thunder Blast. I really do like Rock Blast. Thunder Blast. Thunder Punch. <laughs> but I really do like uh, Rock Blast here. It is stab. But our opponent cancels the battle. We get to absolutely showcase Iron Thorns and dominate this first battle. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a team with no Paradox Pokemon. But they're rocking some really strong Pokemon. They got three Dragon type Pokemon. With Haxorus, Hydreigon, and Dragonite. And then they got two Evolutions, Jolteon, Espeon. And last but not least, they got this Snowflake Pokemon. I think it's called like... Rhino gel or something? Something like that. I totally forget this thing's name considering I do not see it a lot in this game. A lot of people do not want to use it on their team and it's not that strong in the ranked competitive scene anyway. So, okay. Iron Thorns, you want to get some work done again? Of course he does. Let's get Iron Thorns right back in here. I really do like Iron Thorns for this matchup. Can get some stuff and things done. So, Iron Thorns, I'm going to end up leading you. I'm just going to set Tailwind. So, Double Paradox, we're going to get out here right off the rip. I am going to bring Arcanine for Intimidate and Burns later in the match. And then Sylveon seems perfect here three dragons gotta bring sylveon gotta bring sylveon it's an absolute must it's an absolute must so we're gonna lock it in we're gonna lock it down let's grab ourselves our back-to-back -back wins and start off 2-0 but yeah i ain't towards that last match i was just like yeah let's set up a swords dance and once we set up the swords dance i was like okay like it's pretty much wraps here it's pretty much wraps pin missiles rock blast thunder punches game over game over just ripping into our opponent but they end up leading the hydrogon and the hacksers Okay, I can, I can, I can work with this. I can work with this. We're gonna have our booster energy come out here, and we're going to boost our attack stat. Our attack was heightened. Uh, from here, I think we just straight up pin missile. Do I Terra? Do I Terra? No, but we're gonna pin missile, and I'm just gonna tailwind alongside this, right? Actually, I'm gonna terrestrialize and tailwind. Not dealing with any of the dragon moves. Not dealing with it. So I'm gonna Terra. I'm gonna pin missile tailwind. And I don't know if Pin Missile can KO. It's not Stab, but it is super effective, which is a nice little, nice little boost here. Nice little boost. And we have the Load Dice. We're going to hit. I think it makes a hit at least four times. I think Load Dice is about it. First impression comes through here. Good Terra from us. Great Terra from us. Beautiful Terra from us. I think that's first impression. And this Hydreigon actually outspeeds my my uh, Roy Moon. So great Terra from us. Really good Terra from us. Tailwind's going to come out here. And we're gonna get cooking. We are indeed gonna get cooking. Pin missile flying through here. And oh yeah, this is actually that was a crit. We might not KO. I think we should be able to though. Two more KOs? Yeah. See you later. Hydra get on out of here, yo. Iron Thorns. Everybody was saying and putting on their tier list that Iron Thorns isn't that good. This thing's killing it. This thing's attack set is so high. Once you get it out here with the loaded dice, I think the loaded dice pin missile rock blast combo really makes it. 
Because Rock Blast and Pin Missiles, they're, they're those moves where it's just like, okay, you're relying on RNG, but now that they added the Loaded Dice, it makes it so much more reliable. So from here, I'm just going to drop yet another Pin Missile. It's super effective on the Espeon. And do I double down to Espeon? I feel like Espeon might terrestrialize. slide. So you know what? I'm just going to go straight after this uh, Haxorus. Probably should have went for Acrobats. Actually, Throw Chop does more damage. So we're going to see terrestrialization probably from the Espeon. That's exactly why I didn't double down. And what typing are you going into? Fairy. Lovely little fairy typing. Little fairy Espeon here. I mean, I can deal with fairy. That's, that's, that's something crazy. Throw Chop's going to fire. Doing some big time damage. Booster energy, crazy strong. And Power Gem probably take, takes out, right? No, we're able to eat. We're able to eat. Now close combat flying through here. Yeah, no T-Tars. Not even the futuristic T-Tar takes too well to a... Uh, to a close combat <laughs> but down goes our iron thorns all good we got off some big time damage i just wish it was faster than the hexers we could have gotten off a turn but i can deal with that i mean i could just bring out lovely little sylveon here right they really have anything to take me out no i think we're fine with sylveon i could go in the obviously you but i feel like saving arcanine will be a better call i am going to go into you it's weird that espion outspeed my roaring moon I don't think it did. So I can freely go into Hyper Voice and I can just go straight into an Acrobat. Which I'm hoping could KO. Hexers protects. A fine turn. That's a fine turn. Acrobat's gonna fly. And can my Sylveon outspeed the Espeon? That could be nice. Oh wow, Acrobat's does some damage. It did some damage. Trigger and Sash. They get rid of my Roy Moon, but I get rid of their Espeon. Okay, Haxorus is low on HP. I don't think Haxorus can really do too much to my uh, Sylveon. And we can roll out from there. So not a bad start from us. I feel like we're playing this one pretty solid. Iron Thorns, Roy Moon, picking up some heavy lifting. We're getting rid of uh, Espeon. And more importantly, I totally forgot about this. We get to trigger our Throat Spray. So Throat, throat Spray, let's get cooking. Plus one for the Sylveon. I have Arcanine is going to come out here. Haxorus is a physical attacker. Hopefully his next Pokemon is physical. They can't Terra. I can't Terra. We got a game. We got a match. And no Paradox Pokemon on the field anymore. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think we're sitting in a good spot. Especially because Arky's coming out here. With the Covert Cloak. Lovely little Covert Cloak. I think that, I think that, that item is really good. I really do like that item. Like, you don't see as many fake outs on it uh, as uh, fake out users as much. Oh, this is a big time Intimidate. Unless that thing's in our focus. It is not. It's multi scale. So we have a multi scale here. And yo, he can't Terra. You have free Hyper Voices. Just rip it in these Pokemon. Hyper voice. And do I will us I'm gonna will us I'm just will us this thing. Getting after it. Getting after it. Actually, oh, this thing's ripping with Iron Head. Oh, we survive. That thing dies to life for him. Right? It does not. But will us comes through here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we get the burn. Sylveon living on a free sash, pretty much. And EQ is going to fly. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. But Arcanine, how much damage is that doing to you? I'm saying there's a chance here. Sylveon's out for the count. Sylveon's out for the count. Maybe she should have just protected Sylveon that turn. We got Burn Chip. It's a multi scale is gone. This thing can freely EQ. Tailwinds are gone on both sides. He outspeeds me. And let's just protect. Snarl. What would do more damage? What would do more damage? Not very effective. Slash that and down in half. But I'm gonna have some burn chip up. I'm gonna try to chip up with burn every chance I get. So I'm just gonna protect. I'm gonna have the burn chip. I'm gonna have him probably send his EQs. And I wish we had a berry like a normal Arcanine. That could really come in clutch for us. A berry could really come in clutch. So we're gonna every chance we get, we're gonna have this burn slowly chip up some damage. I'm trying to do the calculations here. I think Heat Wave does more damage than Snarl. Because Snarl's going to do a straight base 55. Heat Wave's going to be not very effective, so it's going to get slashed in half. Which half of that is quick mass, like 47 and a half. So, plus the stab. So, Heat Wave is going to do a little bit more damage. So, I think Heat Wave's going to be your play. Heat Wave's going to come out here. How much damage are we doing? I don't think we got enough mustard and tank to KO this thing. We, I think we need a berry. We can survive one more? One, maybe two more. Maybe two more. No, we can only survive. No, we can survive two more. Should be able to survive two more. No, no, we, we, we can only survive one more, but two of them will take us out. So I'm just going to protect here. Again, slow, slow playing these burns. <laughs> slow playing these burns. 
Slow playing these burns. Dang, if I saw a Terra, I could tear in the water and we would have easily won this match. EQs are flying. EQs are flying. Do I go for double protect here? No, we have to go for a heat wave. We have to go for a heat wave. Heat wave coming out here. Give me a crit or something. EQ flying. <laughs> no, 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 no. We eat. We eat. Again, if we had a berry, we could have been able to eat up one more, and that might have been able to bring us to KO. But you know what? I'm going to protect again. That's 100% protect turn. And do I try for double protect? Because how many EQs has it used? Now, because EQ has 10. We need to... Because I think this thing might be choice. He's just ripping with EQs. The thing is, do we need a crit here? I think we might... No, we... This, no, we outspeed that, don't we? Haven't we been outspeeding it? We have been. Wow. That was a crit, too. That was a crit. We would have had to land a double protected crit. That would have been some crazy RNG, but yo, GG's to our second opponent. Taking us down, Dragonite and all the other dragons. Too much for us to handle. And he takes us out and win match number two. But we're going to hop into our third, showcase Iron Thorns a little bit more, and make sure that we win that and grab ourselves a winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a real deal Series 2 team. They got Iron Hands, Iron Bundle, Roaring Moon, and then Scissor Arcanine. And last but not least, Amoongus. And Scissor is starting to see a lot of love in 4 Series 2. It can counter so many different uh, Paradox Pokemon, and it's just great all around with its typing. So you're going to be seeing Scissor a lot on the Rank Ladder in Series 2. Mark my word on that one. Mark my word. But we're sitting 1-1. One one. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. I'm thinking of going into... I think they go into Iron Hands as a lead. I really do see that happening. So I think Sylveon is going to be a solid Pokemon here. So I'm going to go Sylveon for lead here. I can always protect if they go into Iron Hands. Sylveon just gets some work done. Gotta watch out for that scissor, so I might just leave Arcanine with that. Arcanine kind of counters both, or these two Pokemon will counter kind of like a lot that they want to go into. So I'm kind of leaning towards just going into both of these guys. Let's go Arcanine, let's go Sylveon, and then let's go Iron Thorns, Warm Moon. Yeah, I'm with. We gotta bring in Paradox Pokemon. We have got to. We have got to. But we're saving them for the back end in this battle. Hopefully, they can get some work done later on. But I'm hoping we can just like get after uh, whatever opponent has. I feel like they got to bring Scissor. They got to bring Scissor and Iron Hands. It kind of goes hands in hand, you know? Like, Iron Hands can rip through my team. Scissor can protect the Iron Hands from any fairy type Pokemon. That's why Scissor's going to be so good. But Arcanine, Iron Bundle come out from him. Okay. Arcanine and Sylveon come out from me. So, I could Terra here. Intimidate's going to fly. I could definitely Terra and just Snarl. But Snarling down the Iron Bundle's going to be I think we're gonna have to do. I think we just go for hyper voices, and we just Terra, we just snarl. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it because we know that Iron Bundle is a special. Thing. Arcanine could go either way. Not too bad, but I don't mind just using my Arcanine just for special attack drops. And I don't really mind using my Terrasalization right here. Not too shabby. But if he has Iron Hands in the back end, then I do not have a way to Terrasalize out. I could get ugly. Iron Bundle is gonna pop an icy one just for a little bit of speed control. That's fine. You can have a speed control. Now what's Arcanine going for? It's a real question. I'm going for a straight Snarl. Here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to Snarl him. You want to play Snarls? I'll play Snarls. I'll play Snarls. You want to play that? I'll play it. My special attack's dropped on my Sylveon. I'm going to bring it back up to normal after his Hyper Voice. And it should still do a nice chunk of damage onto the Iron Bundle. Oh yeah, that, that's really the only Pokemon I'm worried about right here. But there's Throw Spray. Big time plays for us. Throw Spray's doing good. And from here, I'm just going to Hyper Voice again, and do I Snarl him again, or do I swap? So I could swap into a physical attack and like... We could eat up Snarls all day. But he's probably going for a Freeze Dry. So you know, we're going to Hyper Voice, and we're just going to Protect Arcanine. That's my play. That is my play, because I know Iron Bundles rock, rock Freeze Dry all day. There it is, baby. Yo, jeans with the reeds. Jeans with the reeds. Love reading it. Love making a good read. Snarl's gonna come out here. Drop us back to minus one. Or no, yeah, back to minus one onto the Sylveon. But we have proven that we can do enough damage to take our Iron Bundle. So Iron Bundle, get on out of my face. Cool. Great turns from us. Lovely turns from us. So now I could. Now I could swap in the Warring Moon. Great reads. I was about to swap in the Warring Moon. And then I realized, I was just like, wait a minute. Freeze Dry is definitely an option. And we made that perfect protect. Made the great read. 
We're all about it. We're all about it. So we're gonna see his next Pokemon, and if I had to guess, I feel like it's Iron Hands. No, it's gonna be Roaring Moon, and I really wanna burn that. I really wanna burn that. This is this is this is what I have to guess. I have to guess that Roaring Moon. There's no way he goes into a dragon. I think we swapped the Sylveon slot here. He's definitely terrestrializing. That's why we protect him, we just burn it. That's, you know what? That's gonna be fine. We're not gonna swap. We're just gonna stay in here. I knew terrestrialization's coming. We, we, we know it's coming 50,000 miles away because it's gonna be a real fairy clip on the field. Probably going into flying or steel. It's gonna be flying. I can deal with flying. I can deal with that. I have iron thorns to hit that thing with rock moves all day. Or electric moves. I have them both. But if I can get off this burn, that's just ridiculously big. So big time protect coming out from our Sylveon. Probably going for another snarl if I had to guess. Acrobat's gonna come in here up against Arcanine. Arcanine, you should be able to do so. Can you outspeed and just burn this thing? Dodge that? Dodge that? Dodge that? Please, thank you. Dodge it? No, you don't. Oh. Free focus ash. Free focus ash coming in hot, yo. I love when I get free focus ashes. It always sucks when your opponents get free focus ashes, but it's always great when you get a free focus ash. But I feel like I deserve that free focus ash, considering I have given out thousands of them. Hardly get that, but look how beautiful that is. Surviving on one HP. That is just lovely. But from here, you know, I'm just going to yawn the Arcanine. And I guess I'll go for a Heat Wave. I guess I'll just go for a Heat Wave. Get off as much damage as I can. He's going to end up acrobatting me. Taking me out. No, we survived that too. And Snarl is going to KO my Arcanine. Arcanine <laughs> dodges. Never mind. And we get off this yawn. We get off this big time yawn. So he wave flying. I'm fine with this. I'm really cool with this. I think it's Barry, but we're yawning it. Yo, my lead's killing it. My lead is killing it. The yawn coming out here. I might just save by Arcanine for an Intimidate later. Or I could swap Sylveon. I mean, I think if we protect Sylveon, we go into Warren Moon. I can protect you and... Could you go into thorns? Because what could you be going for a snarl, right? We should go into thorns here. Look, like you give me no ob or it's not bad to go into any of them. And he swaps into okay, he swaps into iron hands. Going into thorns here. I'm swapping. I might just swap back into my Arcanine here. I think I'm going to swap straight back into my Arcanine. That's a nice tailwind play. That's a nice tailwind play. Hmm. 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 Definitely want to just straight up attack with Sylveon, but I'm thinking if I keep Iron Thorns in here, I'm going to just swap right back into Arcanine. Two physical attackers, we get off the Intimidate. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. So I'm gonna swap right into Arcanine. If it goes down, it goes down. It's no big deal. I, I feel like the fake out's coming into the slot anyway. But that's a big time intimidate. Fake out coming in. Yeah. So that's fine by me. We'll sacrifice our Arcanine for that minus one on both these Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, probably not. My Sylveon definitely not eating off the Sacrobats, right? Yeah, you're dead. You're dead even with the minus one. Unless you get another free Focus Ash. Yeah, no shot. It's fine. So they have Tailwind out and about. Uh, Iron Hand Speed, I don't think it's that crazy, right? Not that crazy, but so scary. It is definitely so scary. I don't have Terra, but I have these guys. I have the big dogs. I have the big dogs right Bolt. And I know Roar Moon, or not Roar Moon, Iron Thorns, no problem taking out the... Uh, there's no problem taking out that, what's it called? That Roar Moon, no problem whatsoever. But I also have Acrobats to get some damage off on the Iron Hands. But yeah, wh which one do I go into here? Rock Blast, probably my best bet. Correct. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Rock Blast. And... Third Chop. Uh, we gotta go in here. Or do I Tailwind here? I just wanna attack. I think I just have to attack here. No Withdrawal Roar Moon. So we're gonna be able to take out Arcanine, but that's a big time Intimidate coming out from him. Big, big time. This is terrifying. 
coming down to the wire. Yo, I love a good paradox battle. As of right now, they have not gotten old to me yet. So Acrobat's gonna fly. We still outspeed that. I could just pop the tailwind. But I think that's our next turn play. Drain punch. We're eating though. Uh yeah, we're gonna have to pop a tailwind next turn. Actually we can't. Actually we can. We can. We're gonna take out Arcanine, no problem here. But Arcanine's gonna go down here. And I'm trying to think of a ways that we can potentially maybe win this match, but I don't think we can. That Drain Punch, like Iron Hands just too much hand. Iron Hands is one of the best Paradox Pokemon in the game, which I definitely got to showcase him next. I think we used him a little bit in our first battle, our first Series 2 video, but we didn't really get to showcase him. But obviously, we could take you out, and I think we just have to try to set up a Tailwind, which I'm going to go for. I wish I had Protect on this Iron Thorns. This could be a big time to Protect for us. We'll see what our opponent wants to do here. Because I feel like just to Protect and Drain Punch coming in. Let's see. Nope. Throw Chop. Are you doubling down to Iron Thorns? Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. Thunder Punch coming in here. We're saying bye-bye to Roaring Moon. And I think he Drain Punches my Roaring Moon. And it turns into a 1v1. And we, we will have speed at that point, but I don't think we have like any moves to really get after this thing, right? Hey, Drain Punch you, can you eat that? Okay, you make it a, okay. You make it a 2v1 by not taking out my moon. All right, all right, you're giving me a shot here. Pin Missile, not very effective. Rock Blast, not very effective. Thunder Blast, or Thunder Punch, not very effective. Watch this play. 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 I blew it. I blew it, but I think that was our only shot. I think that was our only shot. Because we're not doing we're not doing enough damage to this thing. We are not doing enough damage to that thing. I had to get that off. Because Acrobats, watch how much damage we do to Acrobats. Plus, he gets back HP with all the Drain Punches. We need to get that Sword Dance and land that Protect. But we tried. We tried. Again, Iron Hands comes out here, rips into us. I told you that Pokemon is a problem. I'm probably going to showcase him in the next video. Considering the next video is going to be a rank series. So, it's going to be awesome. It's definitely going to be cool. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two played awesome in today's video. I ended up grabbing ourselves a losing record, but hey, I feel like I got to showcase Iron Thorns to its fullest potential, so I count this video as a W. That last battle, Iron Hands came out there, tore through us. Cannot wait to showcase that Pokemon because I do believe that is going to be the strongest Paradox Pokemon in the game. Considering it's just so good, it's typing is really good, it's move set is good, and it is super bulky on top of that, you really can't go wrong with that Pokemon. But there it is, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.